Hello, welcome to SSNE Productions playthrough of Pokemon Emerald. We're now on our way journey to face the fourth gym. Now, if you guys noticed from the last part, I, last time I, you saw me, I was in the desert. The reason why we're here now is because I just I cut out the whole me journeying back to the Petalburg City because there was really no reason. So now we're gonna just head back and take on the fourth gym, which. There's nothing we need to do in between this and the third. And my Pokemon have already been trained, so... We're gonna take on the fourth gem now. Now this gem actually has probably one of the best gimmicks in the entire game, to be honest. This gym actually each door has a different type of enemy. Like here we have the speed room, which I'm gonna take. Each room is a different style of trainer. Let's just. And I do like the uh, encounter theme for this part of the game. It's actually really catchy. Swallow. Now when they say quick, they mean quick, but... Swallow has always been a quick Pokemon to begin with, so... They can speed one up even more now. They already had the ability to attack. Like that. And I believe each one of these trainers only has one Pokemon, I believe. Because these are mandatory fights. Now let's gonna move on to the next room. We have the confusion room. No, <laughs> don't ever go into the confusion room. Defense room. Take the defense room. You don't have to deal with confusion. If you're strong enough, you can most likely one kit hit KO the enemy anyways, so defense really doesn't matter. Unlike confusion, where if you get confused, there's a chance you might not even be able to attack. Like that. They didn't the defense was no problem. But so now we have the strength room. One hit KO room. Um, I'm gonna not risk getting take the strength room. Just because there is a chance I could get one hit KO, and I really don't want to have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center to reheal a Pokemon. And as you can see, there's only one door now. That's because the next room is the uh, gym leader, which is actually your father, which is actually one of the more interesting uh, concepts. Where it's a cool little character moment here. In a game with a relatively <laughs> lackluster story, to be honest. Now this gym is actually probably the easiest gym in the game. It's a normal type gym. So no real strengths or weaknesses. You can just go in there and all out brawl, I guess would be an okay word. Um, not a hard gym at all, just go in at it like you would normally. <laughs> Oof. 
Still an interesting concept having to fight your own father in a battle. Fortunately, he's a normal type gym, so he's kind of weak to my lead attacks. My grass type starter. Like that. Just for some variety, I changed to a uh, chives here because in reality, I could just leaf blade this entire gym, but that would be boring. Just watching leaf blade constantly. I never understood what fade attack was. Like I get the whole you faint and then you surprise attack, but yeah, I never got it. Slate game. Unknown as a uh, lazy Pokemon of this game. But it missed. But it failed. <laughs> well, that was a pointless move. Ooh, Iron Tail actually worked for us. He's loafing around. Experience for that one. Lining. God damn it. <laughs> I hate when that happens. They always have no one. Always a potion. Well, the good old broken leaf blade prevails again. And so you beat your father. <laughs> That's a bit more than your allowance, I would say, but why not? And we can now use Surf outside of battle, we got TM42. Okay, <laughs> unfortunately, we never get to see that move in battle because I kind of killed them all too fast, but um, I don't know what it does, so I'm probably never going to use it, but uh, if, anyone, if anyone thinks it's good, don't leave a comment or something, tell me. And it's Wally's dad, or uncle, or whatever relationship, <laughs> relation he is. Now unlike all the other HMs, this one you legitimately get right after the gym. This guy just gives you surf out of nowhere. Which I'm not complaining, but lazy I guess and laziness, perhaps. No one in this world seems to know how to turn their TVs off either. They're always on. Like twenty-four hours a day.
I gotta go recharge my Pokemon now. No, not in the gym. <laughs> Well, let's teach a Pokemon that HM now. Surf is actually a pretty powerful move, to be honest. Good water move, too, so I can finally teach my Pokemon a water move. Ganshirt, you will finally become useful. No offense, Ganshirt. <laughs> Lotads, I love Lotads. They're so... I don't know what, but they're cool. And Surf is a freaking powerful move. Now I just need to find a water stone. It's all a surf essentially is what it is. You can surf over the water. You can get to places you previously couldn't. Either. Uh, interesting thing about this game, the surf is really freaking fast compared to like in the previous games. Look at that, you fly across the water in this game. I also for some reason don't seem to get random encounters as much in the water than I, than I wouldn't say Gen 1, 2, or 4. I don't know why, what it is about that, but I'm not complaining. using a rappel to get through the forest easier. The yeah, I wanted to train these Pokemon don't give much in, for, in terms of experience anyways because they're early Pokemon in the game. And I don't want to see any Zigzagoons, so... Yeah. A day I don't see a Zigzagoon of, is a good day. Surf also lets you take shortcuts, which are very convenient. Like that. Now we don't have to cross the bridge. We can get to Robustro City much faster. Now I guess we're off to the next gym, which is actually my least favorite gym in the game, the Flying Gym. Not because I hate flying Pokemon, it's mostly because my main Pokemon is a Grass Pope. And my, one of my other mains is also a flying type, which really just doesn't help out in that gym at all. Although I do have a dark, dark normal type, which may come in handy. I'm just going to switch tribes up to the second player spot right now so we can get some experience in two player battles. <laughs> 